back to New Zealand once more we come as the Brisbane Broncos will travel here across the Tasman Sea to face New Zealand Warriors. I'm Oli Parche. Alongside me is Will Kay. The Warriors will be second to line out, so we'll go for the Broncos first. Herbin, Moscow, Western, Dingle and plays in the backs with plays moving over to the wing. Raymond and nine in the halves. The second row, Hunt, Ford and Vredo back in the starting lineup. Wilson, Saller and Little in the front row. Bench, Kodar Diab, Creed Alex Chapman, Jack Spillane and Jason Farah. Another Warriors side. Chance Barnes, Diana Broughton Thompson, Sean Walker, Nico Aratere, Isaac Simons in the back line. McCartney and Cork in the halves. Logan Strange, Jaden White, and Rex Slater in the front row. David Barner, Rogers, and Cork in the second row. Another bench, John Nanai, Daniel Ego, Ryan Lawrence, and LeBron Ball. Well, take us through these teams right now. What are we expecting from this matchup given their history? Well, given the history especially, Pache, uh, it's been pretty interesting. The Broncos, obviously, this season yet to win a game, and the Warriors haven't won since round one against the Eels. Historically, though, this, this game has always been played in New Zealand, and uh, the Broncos have not beat the Warriors since season one. Well, a one and three record that the Broncos will look to not only break their O for Duck, I uh, would like to move to two and three against New Zealand as Nayana Broughton Thompson runs one up the wing, getting up to halfway. Now if McCartney over to Slattery. Slattery's wrestled to ground about 40 meters out from his own the uh, Broncos line. Bunce finds Corcoran. Corcoran in no man's land though and is easily wrapped up there. Look at Simon Hunt being involved. Corcoran will play to White. Now it'll be Patrick Corcoran to. Take the kick, subbing in for his house partner there as Justin plays is immediately wrestled to ground there by Sean Walker. Yeah, it was, a, it was a pretty good starting set there from the Warriors, making some easy meters, getting to around that 30 mark, and Patrick Corcoran's put in a good kick there to uh, put the Broncos on the back foot for their first set. Yeah, they're not making much ground there as plays attempts to take a second run, doesn't get too far. Reto now over to Ford. Ford. Able to finally get some good meters there for Brisbane as he is almost able to get by Slattery. Mark Hayne will look for a 40-20, but a huge charge down. And Jai McCartney is able to pick it up. And the Warriors go right back on the attack. Yeah, it looked like it came off the back of a Warrior actually there. Uh, just come off the side of the boot from the Broncos. I didn't see who was kicking it. And uh, it's ended up with some great field position for the Warriors here. Yeah, and immediately they got on the attack there with a little bit of a line break. I believe that was led by the hooker, Jaden White, as McCartney will take it up to the 10. Now White, left side, looking for Corcoran on the edge, trying to get back inside. His place looked to wrestle him back, but the winger couldn't do much there against Corcoran. Is now McCartney almost there. Can he get himself over? Fredo has him wrapped up and make sure to hold him up. They'll have last tackle now. McCartney will yeah. play it there. Sorry, Broad Thompson. Oh, he lost it forward. Good wrap-up tackle there. I believe it was Jordan Ford. And now Brisbane are able to survive that little scare there after that 40-20 attempt went all right. Yeah, oh, and as they give a penalty away there, there are Broad and Thompson won't be very happy with himself there just with the last tackle play knocking it on and the Broncos getting off the hook. And then obviously a pretty bad error for I believe it was the number 10 Rex Slattery. Uh, holding down in the tackle. The Broncos will get out jail free here. Yeah, just a huge momentum shift there. You know, not only just being able to stop that last tackle attempt, but also winning that penalty. And now they will look to try and infringe on Warriors' territory, but they're not getting very far so far. Two tackles in, and looks like the Warriors have just been able to push them back. As they go to Mark Iron. Iron maybe looked to shape for a 40-20, but decided against it, as instead just takes one up and is wrapped up there by Corcoran. Patrick. Pete Vredo puts on a fan. Now Vredo down the sideline gets an offload away for Hunt, but the defense got back there for him. And Josh Corcoran able to wrap him up. Hunt plays the Sadler. Sadler opts to scoot. Nearly was brought into an offside position for Chance Bunce, but on that occasion is David Barnum makes a tackle. Weston gives it to Raymond. Raymond with a bomb. This looks to be in a very awkward spot. Broughton Thompson, he was not in the field of play. Actually, he was. They're going to let him loose. And off goes Broughton Thompson. He's going to go the length of the field and will score for the Warriors. Oh, wow. What a try from the young winger there. It's picked up last season from the Auckland Warriors, only scoring a try. Uh, yet to score this season, and there is his first of the season. Be very happy with that one. 
Yeah, just absolutely ran through. There was just no real opportunity there to make a tackle on him. I think the Broncos did kind of fall asleep. They thought maybe that's in goal, but you've got to play to the whistle on those occasions. As he is Jai McCartney looking to put them 6-0 up. Shouldn't have very much trouble with this. Basically right in front of a black dot. 12 meters out and coolly slots it. Yeah, that's a good kick from Joe McCartney there. Right? He's got a very, very good record um, already this season. He's kicked seven goals and picked up a try for himself. So he's had a fairly good start to the season, although Warriors haven't won a game since round one, playing the Cowboys and Manly, respectively, in round two and three. Uh, the, he'll be very happy with his teammate there as he ran 100 meters to score. Yeah, and I mean, it is interesting whether they have decided to go back to McCartney as Josh Corcoran did have the kicking duties against the Sea Eagles. He was, however, free from free, so can't really complain about those as here's Logan Strange trying to get past an arm tackle of Reto. Nearly does so, but couldn't break it off. White now finds McCartney. Inside ball here for Pat Corcoran, and he's also arm tackled there by Sadler. Looking left side now, McCartney for Walker. Sean Walker just able to get inside the Broncos half. White finds McCartney. Now for Josh Corcoran. Corcoran pushing through. Will be tackled at the 40 there in a three-man tackle. A lot of players had to be committed to that. So might not be that much pressure on this kick because they go to Avatere. And he kicks down the wing for Luka Moscow. Moscow breaks a tackle and is eventually wrapped up there. It looks like Bunce had to be back there for it and was well working. Just able to get back and make sure that he didn't allow anyone to break through. It was... Now Bo Wilson tries to take a run in at the second row of Barna. Doesn't get very far. Now Herben, he tries to break through, but Patrick Corcoran is there for it. Herben plays for Sadler. Sadler to Wilson. Wilson tries to run it up, but two men there for it. Barna helping out there. Now Sadler to Raymond. They look to swing it to Lillard, but he again can't get many meters as his tackle there by White and Slattery. Where does Bo Sadler look to go? He goes left side here for Raymond. Raymond puts in a good grubber, but Josh Corcoran there fielded it very well indeed, going to his backside. It was a good take from Josh Corcoran there. <laughs> just quite uh, keeping the eye on the ball and just uh, paying up the absolute great benefits from it, um, taking his team off the hook because the Broncos chase was coming in strong. Yeah. And it's now Slattery finds Logan Strange. I think I've actually called Barna uh, when it's actually Liam Rogers playing on that right edge there. We'll have to double check and make sure of that one. As McCartney, there is David Barna getting involved. He's able to bring it forward. He's tackled about 45 out for a Brisbane line. White now to McCartney. McCartney's kick is short and tries to get plays running onto it where he is met by a pair of defenders there. Walker and Broughton Thompson both getting well involved as... It's a quick play of the ball. They get it out to Mark Iron, though the defense didn't seem too ready for it. Oh. Still was able to make a good tackle as here's Jordan Ford. Now into Warriors territory. On tackle free. They go short side here for Iron. Little inside ball for Quandale Dingle. Dingle nearly breaking free, but Bunce was there for it and looks like Liam Rogers is there to bring him down as well. Dingle will play it for Sadler. Sadler for Iron. Now to Herbin. They go to the wing of Justin. Plays and he nearly breaks through. But Broughton Thompson has brought him down. Herbin takes dummy half roll. And it's both Sadler to put a kick in. It's very deep. And it's taken with a great run through. It's Mark Iron. Wow. What a take. The Warriors breaking down a communication there, having no clues who's taken the high ball. And Mark Iron says, I don't mind if I do. Yeah, it looked like it was confusion. Bunce and Avatere, both of them were looking to go up for it. Wasn't sure on who. And Mark Iron came in running, timed it to perfection. And now it's going to be on Justin Place to try and equalize now from the hash, Mark. And yeah, Mark Iron will be very happy with his first try of the season. Yeah, good way to open the account for a half as plays coolly slots it as well. Going to be tough going here right now for the Broncos, given that they did have a tough match against the Sea Eagles in round two, and 
Av, of course, got off to that 0-3 start, but they have equalized again, and I think it's a good sign for them too. Even with that Broughton Thompson breakaway, it has looked like they've finally been able to get their offense working because I don't think they actually have come in with any first-half points until recently. I'm not too sure about that one. I'll have to check that statistic. Um, I'm sure you're right, Oli. Um, it's pretty brutal from the Broncos. Um, they've come out firing um, after the, that first try. I guess it was kind of lucky um, at their defense breaking down for Broughton Thompson to uh, run away and score under the post. But now the Broncos have hit back and they're looking pretty confident in attack. Yeah, I mean, and I feel like that might just be some poor kick placement maybe they can blame themselves on, but they have to live and learn with it. As Weston takes a dummy half roll there and Simon Hunt breaking through. Bunts is there to meet him on the last tackle, but it might get him out of position here. He'll need to retreat fast, but he's going to be last man in the tackle. They're having to move, I believe that is Avaterde over to try and cover off that kick. Raymond will kick it, and it is actually kicked to him. That was actually Broughton Thompson that moved over and did well. Make sure that that didn't go anywhere. Broughton Thompson will play it now, just inside his own 10. White now over to Strange. Strange tries to take a run up, but not much room there as Sadler brings him to ground. White will look to spread it to Corcoran. Corcoran breaking free, and it's Herbert that has to step up and make a tackle, but a good 25 meters there for Josh Corcoran. Yeah, that's a good return on the set. Already at the 50 now, the Warriors on their fourth tackle. The kick was a bit of a nothing kick down to the wing of Broaden Thompson. They probably should have split it down the middle and uh, hope it's set up, see what they could have come up with there. But um, the Broncos are about to get the ball back now. Yeah, I do think that perhaps they were just trying to make sure that they put Broaden Thompson under some pressure, but it didn't really feel like very much. Maybe could have just gone with more of a chip kick to try and get into that space, something that didn't have as much hang time, but really allowed him to get underneath it as they try to find Vretto, but Vretto is driven back hard in the tackle there. I believe that's Liam Rogers and Jaden White both getting involved there. As Zion finds Ford, Ford will take it up to the Broncos 30. Now they'll look to try and break through the center corridor as is brought with Lillard. And maybe a 40-20 attempt here, but Iron always shanked that one and chance bunts. Oh, Nelly gets through Vretto and Sadler in one step, but Sadler met him well and put body to body. As now they will look to try and run up the center of the park again as Liam Rogers, it was Liam Rogers, in with that beautiful pink hair. As now Logan Strange breaking through. He's up there already putting the Broncos up on tackle three. Corcoran for Patrick Virgin. Now to David Barner. Nearly through that chain mail of a Broncos defense. Arna will play it only a couple meters out. White will swing it right for Corcoran. Can he get it through there? He's not got him. Yes, he has. Oh, we're going to have to check upstairs here. And it looks like he's gotten through that tackle of Bailey Wilson to score. Yep, and that's what the video referee has said. It's a very difficult try to score there. That arm tackle, you just got to try and wrap him up, but Bailey Wilson couldn't do it. And as a result, the Warriors are able to open up once more with a quarter of a way through this match and they take up the lead once again. Yeah, Bailey Wilson, we a bit disappointed himself in that one. Uh, the rookie forward as uh, Joshua Corcoran scoring his second try of the season. And what a try that is. It gets uh, New Zealand off to a very, very good start indeed. I'll be very happy with that indeed as McCartney puts them back up six. Second six-point lead of this match, of course. As it will be plays again to try and kick us off. Well, if you're the Broncos right now, what do you think Justin is trying to say to them as they line up for this one? Well, honestly, I think the Broncos just got to keep what they're doing, what they're doing, especially what they're doing in the opposition half. In defense, they've been a bit slack and letting some easy meters once the once the Warriors get past that 50, as we see Bunce with a big line break here. But the Broncos just need to keep on doing what they're doing, putting pressure on the kicks, keep on building that pressure, and eventually it'll pay off. Yeah, as well, you mentioned that. The Warriors have just been able to infringe inside Broncos territory and was Bunce that barely did it as well before he was eventually brought to ground as 
The tackles quickly tick away here as Patrick O'Corn tries to get by Sadler, but is tackled 25 out. A lot of options here right now for the Warriors. I'll go to Corcoran. Corcoran, his kick was smothered and it's taken there by Levi Raymond. And Raymond will claim it. It will be tackle one here on that charge down. Great work there by Brisbane on defense to make sure nothing happens as Daly lost that through. But Creed Alex Chapman did well to pick it up. Indeed, they did. It was a bit of a smother of a kick. A bit awkward one as well as Hunt now taking a pretty good run up. Yeah, now they have a big opportunity there as Herbin tries to sidestep. Couldn't get through the tackle of John Nanai, who's come on now, I believe, for Logan Strange. As well as they brought on Daniel Ego for like Rex Slattery as Vredo is brought to ground there in a two-man tackle from Rogers and Josh Corcoran. Vredo, oh, a little bit of miscommunication there. And Raymond just had to try and run it up and he'll end up handing it over about three-eighths of a way up. Now an opportunity for Warriors to get back and perhaps pull them up 12 as Broughton Thompson already breaking through tackles and now already inside Brisbane's 40. White to Rogers now playing more in the center of the park. He's brought down there by Sadler and a tough tackle. But again, more chunk plays being gained here on these phases of setters. Here's Daniel Ego. He'll play it about 20 out. White looks to McCartney. McCartney swings at the other side. Corcoran now the Bunts. Bunts nearly breaking through. He does. He gets through all of them. And Chance Bunts is over. Chance Bunts, you superstar. You've just beaten almost all of the Broncos' defense to score under the posts. They were falling off like flies. And there he goes. He's got his fourth try for the season. That was almost like a NFL breaking every single tackle. Flashbacks to like Garrett Blunt as Bunce just beat Sadler's arm tackle, broke free of that, then shook, I believe it was Simon Hunt and Sam Herbin out of his shoes. And then there was no one left in front of him with six meters to go. He was absolutely home for all money. And he did great work there, not only to bring the back inside Broncos territory in an earlier set to build up more pressure. Now they get another try out of it. And he gets rewarded for his efforts. <laughs> if you're the Broncos, you cannot be that soft in defense. I was saying it before. They need to be tougher in defense. They need to keep on doing what they're doing in attack. And they've done neither of that. And uh, Chance Bunce comes up with what looks to him as an easy try. But to any ordinary player, to us mere mortals, it would be a very difficult one. Well... I don't know about me immortals because, well, we have definitely seen him struggle at times, Chance Bunce, but as a captain, he'll be absolutely overjoyed with being able to make those sorts of plays to really inspire his team, especially give him a two-possession lead as a look for a 40-20 here with McCartney. And his well just had no room to really pull that one away as Vredo was smothered it and picked it up all in one motion. A beautiful take. And now Brisbane with an opportunity. They'll try and run it through Quandau Dingle and he's nearly pushed over the sideline there. It was a strong tackle there from Miana Broughton Thompson. Vredo now will find Creed Alex Chapman. He nearly breaks through another tackle and he's brought down about 15 meters out from the Warriors line. Iron inside ball Herbin. Herbin got it away for Sadler. Sadler trying to drive through. Bunce had, had to come up in defense to make sure that he didn't let anything through. Alex Chapman oh. is knocked to ground. Oh, what a shot laid on there as Raymond will now have to kick on the last. He puts it up there. Isaac Simons is waiting underneath it and he is brought down about three meters out from his own line. But goodness me, what a hit that was on Creed Alex Chapman. Yeah, it was Patrick Corcoran, the man, putting on the big shot. That was absolutely huge. I did not see that coming. And the uh, the former Manly prop has just been put straight on his ass. Yeah, I, I felt that one in my ribcage myself. Alaterde now on tackle three. Ooh, a little bit of communication there. Rogers able to salvage it, got an offload of back to Alaterde. And he's brought down just inside her own 40. We've seen the 40-20 attempts not go so well, but... Corcoran will still try and put a kick away, but well, he didn't get much meterage on that. And Sam Herbert was able to take it not only not even close to the sideline, basically dead center of the park and just at his own 40. Now an opportunity for Brisbane to try and put on an attack. Mark Iron, he'll look left side for Kodar Diab, who's been brought on as well. 
course, Creed Alex Chapman had also been brought on for... Uh, both of them were brought on for Wilson and Lillard of the props as Raymond. Oh, Ford nearly had it. Now got it back. Now gets an offload away, but it's forward. Oh. That must be such a heartbreaking opportunity that they lost there. Yeah, Levi Raymond's not going to be happy with that one. Um, it was in for all money, but the pass being called back um, as forward. Uh, that would be disappointing there for the Broncos. Yeah, as nearly the Broncos were able to set one of their own free. They tried to look for, I believe, John Nanai, but he just wasn't in position for the pass. But now Patrick Corcoran already putting some more pressure on the worry of a Broncos defense, rather, as he forces Herbin out once more. McCartney out to Barna. Barna in a good tackle there from Fredo, but then still gaining meters again and again. The Warriors are unrelenting here, but that one was a mistake, and Mark Iron ends up capitalizing on it. That's a huge letter for them. Yeah, and that's some great rush defense there from the Warriors as well. We know, as we've seen time and time again, Mark Iron, if he gets a bit of free range, he's gone and there's no catching him. Yeah, thankfully they did have enough players back and to basically back up defense really to make sure that nothing really took them by surprise there. Here's Hunt playing it for Sadler on the third. Now Raymond down to Herbin. They'll try and send it all the way to the right side through Iron, but Iron is met in a strong tackle by McCartney. A look right side for Plays. Plays puts on a step. Can he get past Bunce? No, he's tackled at the hips and brought to ground there. But it does give a real attacking opportunity here for Brisbane with this kick. Let's see where they place it. They go to Vredo. Vredo a bomb. Where's it going to land? It lands with Chance Bunce. And Bunce is ruled to have marked it in goal. So that time, it'll be a 20-meter restart for the Warriors. It was. That's a good take from Chance Bunce. Just... Putting, taking his team off the hook there. The Broncos looking pretty strong in that set. Starting to get some momentum back. Starting to get in the groove of things. But uh, putting that kick way too deep. And with a ta seven tackle set, there may be a bit more strife from that kick than if they grub it, it'll just run the ball. Yeah, well, now it's going to be a tough ask for them to really try and deny them on the seven tackle set as we've seen how much the Warriors can break off. But this time they've been solid enough on this set at least, but there's Jaden White putting a fend on Fredo and now forcing Herbert to make a tough tackle. And again, the Warriors have put the pressure on here. They'll look right side for Josh Corcoran through McCartney, but Corcoran will be tackled 23 meters out. They'll play it for White. Where's McCartney in this? They don't look to him. They look to Avaterde. Then they go to Corcoran. Corcoran puts up a high ball. They're having to chase back for it. No one was back for it. Creed like Chapman probably could have let that one go, but he elects to pick it up. Try to bring it out, but no chance. And he's tackled in goal for a line dropout. Again, just miscommunication. The Broncos had no clue who was taking that kick, and they let it bounce. And uh, the Warriors almost came away with the try there with uh, running through the ball. It was actually quite lucky that Creed Alex Chapman did take it because I thought that maybe, just maybe, some of the Warriors players would have come through and put the ball down. Yeah, I mean, I suppose it would be better safe than sorry. Now Walker, short side ready with White. Barnum wasn't sure that he was receiving a bow. Forty was the decoy man, took it himself instead and still gets him inside the red zone. White, short ball McCartney. Probably was looking more long there, though. But McCartney still making a strong effort there on Pete Vretto. White now to Corcoran. Had a good blocker, but didn't put him to good use as it's brought down there by Sadler and Vretto. Now they have to look to McCartney here. He's on the right side. That's where they go to. Short grubber. Way too short. Kodar Diab was easily able to fall upon it. It was a disappointing kick from Trump McCartney there. It was just kind of a nothing kick. Uh, you talk about a grubber and how it dribbles. It's a dribble, not a slopper, you know? Like, that was just no power to it, and it just off the hook easy for the Broncos there. Yeah, well, I would have some metaphors for that, but I would rather not insult the dead. Levi Raymond will find Sam Lillard, who's been brought back on here late on in this first half, maybe just looking for a little bit more inspiration as Mark Kyan will look for a miracle 40-20. Can't get it. And now Chance Barnes will have one last opportunity to run oh! and he got leveled. Pete Fredo slices him in half. And now one last play for the Broncos. Sadler looks to Iron. Inside ball, Herbin. Herbin breaks free. Look oh. for the call. Barnes makes up for it. Makes a huge stop. Jeez, Bailey Wilson, what a hit. So going for oh. half time here.
Welcome back for the second half. The Warriors up 18 to 6 following what was a very eventful first 40 minutes. Oli Pache and Will K with you here on SRL TV. Well, what are your thoughts here? Let's just try and summarize it the best we can here. What have we just witnessed, <laughs> especially in that last 60 seconds? Well, <laughs> I don't even know if words can describe it. It was definitely interesting for sure. The Broncos looking a little bit more dangerous on attack uh, as the Warriors just kind of got a little bit lazy the last couple of minutes, last couple of sets. Um, and then I guess we'll see how we go in the second half here. Yeah, it's going to be tough for the Broncos to come back from the 12-point deficit. Of course, they did have some early struggle signs, but this time they look to try and recover from it as Creed Alex Chapman will already be tackled in their own half, so they'll have to look for something else here. Raymond elects not to go for 40-20 this time. Instead, sends Tyler Weston through a hole, and Weston is tackled just inside of the Warriors' edge. They'll look for a long ball out for Raymond to get a decent kick away, and he does just that nearly over the head of Isaac Simons, but ends up just being over to the 20 is before it's driven right back by Pete Verretta, who's been moved into the second row. Or Corin short ball for Nanai. Nanai with a quick run up. He'll play it for White. Now Cor Corin. Cor Corin long ball for Bunce. Bunce intercepted. Justin plays nearly through, but is brought down by McCartney. What a great read by the captain on captain. As now Iron quickly out. Alex Chapman trying to make his way through, but Patrick Corcoran waited well for it. Brought him to ground. Sadler. Now Jason Farah. Jason Farah. Can he get over? Yes, he can. The ball's rolled out. They'll have to go upstairs for it, though. I think he's got this one here, the big blue-haired freak. He is an absolute freak of nature. A great player as we look. And it looks like he's got it down. We'll see if they get the green light. And they do. And there you are, the Jason Farrow with the positional change. Uh, pretty oh, previously, I guess, uh, being a rookie this season. And that's a great play from him, just pushing over and just crushing some uh, Warriors defense. Yeah, just we saw that the Warriors had fallen asleep. Well, you said that, that they had fallen asleep of his last couple of sets, and it looks like they still haven't woken up from their slumber yet. Chance Buns just throwing a bit of a miracle ball. Justin plays, read it well, set them up. And now Brisbane have been able to halve the deficit as we have 36 minutes left to play. Indeed they have. McCartney to kick us off of a second time in this half. He'll send it deep out to Mark Iron. Mark Iron, oh, a bit of a flat ball there. Kree Alex Chapman tried to... Make sure that he recover that to his hip. And, well, did well with that. Now Kodar Diab. Diab will get about a quarter of the way up the field before he's eventually brought down by Pat Corcoran. Sadler out to hunt now to Vredo. Vredo with a mismatch here as he takes on John Nanai, it feels like, but it's eventually able to bring him to ground. Vredo to back, plays it back. For Sadler, Raymond Herbin. Herbin with a step inside ball for Alex Chapman, but... Was good coverage defense there. I believe Daniel Engel getting involved. He has to run back now. It's Farah. Ooh, a bit of a miracle ball out there, but it's forced both Sadler to take it up. He'll force someone else into that deputy dummy half roll. Looks like it's Herbin there. He'll send a long ball out across bodies to Raymond. Raymond kicks, but it's only a punt kick. Isaac Simons now nearly able to break through. Now up to just inside his own 30. Awatere to Korkoran, Korkoran to Nanai. Nanai with a good run, just centering the ball here on tackle two. Nanai will play it. Now it's to Ryan Lawrence. Lawrence trying to break through a tackle of Diab and can't quite do so, but still gains a good amount of meters out of it. White to McCartney. McCartney out to Korkoran. Korkoran brought down there by Farrer and Fredo. Two wild hair colors combining to bring him down. Korkoran, Patrick. Now to Ryan Lawrence again. Lawrence is brought down there, I believe, by Jack Spillane. White now will send a long ball out to McCartney. He puts on another punt. He finds Justin Plays. Plays will be brought down there by Walker and Broughton Thompson. Now for Spillane will end up taking the dummy half roll. Mark Iron there. He decides to take a run himself, going at Daniel Engel. 
and gets a good amount of meters out of it. But that time, Engel backs up from Marker and makes a good shot on Kodar Diab, not letting him get anywhere. Sadler to Ryan. Ryan throws an inside ball to Spillane. Probably could have had to play develop a bit more there. But eventually, it's passed back out. Ryan will go short side raid. Sadler to Plays. Eventually through that train, but Plays is brought down there, and the Bronco not very far there. Yeah, it's a bit disappointing backing up from a pretty good set just moments ago from the Broncos. Uh, they'll be looking to try and make some more meters in the upcoming sets and hopefully keep the Warriors down this end. Yeah, Daniel Engel did some good defensive work just trying to make sure that nothing could go on there as there's a first touch for LeBron Ball. The basketball convert taking his first touch of this match. Now Engel in the center of the park. Now on tackle three. White to McCartney, now to Lawrence. Lawrence is wrapped up well by Diab and not going anywhere there. And is tackled just inside Broncos territory. White to Engo. Engo, bad pass. And it's been taken up by Spillane. Spillane will have to take with Bunce tackle. And that could bring some good plays out of position here. Creed Alex Chapman now breaking through. And Bunce had to work hard to get back there, but he did well. A fullback with some great speed able to chase him down. Sadler now to Raymond. Out to Vredo and... Again, Brisbane now piling on the pressure here, looking to try and tie this game up, especially if they can score a try down the center with Hunt, but he is walloped. Oh, what a shot there. I believe that was Engel once more doing some great defensive work once again. Bredo up on tackle four. Sadler now finds Alex Chapman with a long pass. He probably can't get over there. No, not quite. Just a couple of meters short. This will put a lot of pressure on the kick chase here because they'll get a short start. Raymond does get it away at least, but it's not going to be deep enough for a real try opportunity. Chance bunts. Oh, Simon Hub just didn't look like he wanted to tackle him in the air there. And as a result, they will still be able to bring him down inside their own 10 is now Lawrence. Lawrence against Diab, doing some good work there. Had to employ the assistance there of Sam Herbin to... Well, that's not Sam Herbin, excuse me. Mark Iron to bring him down. Now LeBron Ball taking it up to the center of the park. The Warriors now experiencing what the Broncos had a couple of sets ago, just not able to really get out of her own end. They send it out. Oh, nice double pass to Bunce. Bunce nearly breaking through here. Like challenging Herb, and he's eventually brought to ground. 32 out from there, and he earns a huge penalty there as Herbin has been penalized with a held in tackle. Yeah, that's a crucial error there from the Broncos. Just giving away a penalty in already pretty good field position for the Warriors, and now they're going to be even more strife. A fifth tackle penalty is an absolute coach killer. They will be fuming up there in the Brisbane coach's box. Here's Corcoran running at 17 out, and Warriors now have a huge opportunity to go back up by 12 points as Awatere is brought down just on that far side of the field, seven meters out. Oh, nice floating ball, pass ball, and found Josh Corcoran. It found Josh Corcoran. He's muscled his way over, I think. We'll wait to see what the bunker says here, but Josh Corcoran is celebrating and he's definitely claimed it, looking very confident indeed as it looks like the ball's gotten down. We'll wait to see what they see. And there you are, Josh Corcoran with a double tonight, third for the season and fourth career. That is a good night for Josh Corcoran. Yeah, I mean, he'll take a single game, tries record for himself, on a league record, of course, but to get a double is so huge for him. Especially what I thought was just a nothing tackle. Bo Sadler just could not stop that leg drive. Had no support from his Broncos teammates. And Jai McCartney will put them back 12 points up. Yeah, that's a, that's a brutal blow for the Broncos system there. Um, giving away that penalty, just about 30 out. And then to get a repeat set, starting at the 20 meters from the try line. That is just... A poor error that's led to a pretty avoidable try. Yeah, it's always difficult to try and defend the 10 tackles. And that time it was able to lead the points. As that kick ends up fine, Bunce. Bunce will look to Engor and he <laughs> runs through Simon Hunt. Couldn't really put much of a shot on there, but didn't level him, but still made him feel it. As here's Patrick Corcor and eventually got an offload out to Engor again. And looks like the Warriors are really free-flowing of this attack. White out to ball. 
Paul sends another offload out to Corcoran. Patrick Corcoran breaking through here. They're already down inside Broncos territory, inside their 40, and it's only tackle free. They've come back with a vengeance here as here's LeBron Ball running through and is eventually taken down by the duo of Alex Chapman and Farah. White out to Patrick Corcoran. He takes on Diab. And already the Broncos find themselves back at their own goal line. It feels like just three minutes ago they were. In fact, it actually was. Jai McCartney takes his own grubber. I think he's got that down, has he? Yes, he has. Oh, what a play by Jai McCartney. What a grubber. He makes up for an earlier one and does it beautiful with that. Wow, Jai McCartney. What a play here he is. And now he's gotten back-to-back -back tries. You'd have to say... In the second half, the Broncos not looking confident at all after scoring early up in the, just I guess in the first couple of minutes of the, the second half. And now Joe McCartney and uh, Josh Corcoran, they're showing their team what they can do and trying to bring the rest of them with them. Yeah, I mean, McCartney put an absolutely beautiful play there as well because he reads this brilliantly. As soon as Sadler gets close, he puts in a second little knee on it, which is legal considering below the knee is still counted as a kick. He ends up deciding, you know what, I'll just put one more touch on it just to get it into that in-goal area and then he can finally put a dive on where there's no Broncos player to really contest. He read that so well and ends up creating one of the tries of the year you see your coast-to-coast -coast runs. You see your bomb kicks up that someone collects, but rarely do you see the grubber work out, and especially not on a second kick to yourself, really. He plays that one to such perfection. <laughs> I'm in almost admiration, oh. but the Warriors, right after two back-to-back -back tries, let the Broncos ride in with a Patrick Corcoran just falling asleep and dropping it. That is... Hideous as Bredo goes in. Pete Bredo, what a try from the Ranga bloke. And that end will give the Broncos a little bit more confidence. Oh, suddenly the floodgates have opened up. Basically three tries in five minutes. It looked like LeBron Ball there just missed his assignment. Bredo just ran through an open window and he is able to put one down. Bredo playing in that second row. You know, he fulfills so many roles, almost like a queen on a chessboard. His plays, oh, he's barely hooked that one through. A solid conversion. New Zealand will go back up 12 after they were just up 18, but also before that, also up 12. <laughs> that is indeed a mouthful, eh? <laughs> that was a just a terrible effort there. Uh, with the knock-on from the Warriors, and that's led to a very, very quick try. I didn't expect Broncos to score so quickly, but I guess they're on the clock here. The 20 minutes to go, they need to score another two converted tries to uh, make the game even. Yeah, well, I mean, if you get gifted points like that, you have to try and make the most of them. They did so on that set, but now they have to try and push back and put two more up, and I think the Warriors will now just have to make sure that they don't commit those same silly mistakes. As here is Vretto, now running it up on tackle three. Well, no, it's not an inside ball, sorry. It's just a regular pass to Farrow and then finds Alex Chapman, who gets some good meters there and is tackled just inside the Warriors' half. Now Vretto gaining a solid 10 meters. Not enough to really mount too much of an attack here, but they will still try and pin the Warriors deep as it's found. Broughton Thompson with a kick. And Broughton Thompson brings it up to about the 20 before he's brought down there by Jack Spillane, playing in the center's role this time. Walker, long ball from White there to find Lawrence. Lawrence breaks for another tackle of Sadler. He's really not been great in trying to wrap defenders up here. But perhaps that might just be selective bias as Slattery back on here, breaking through a couple of tackles and almost getting up to halfway there before he's eventually brought to ground. White finds Josh Corcoran now with Bunce. Bunce breaking through here. Foot race against Herbin. And Herbin here with a run him down. Just 15 now from the Brisbane line. White to Corcoran. Now to McCartney. But McCartney was red well there. And Kodar Diab able to wrestle him to ground eventually. About 18 minutes ago here on the last tackle. Josh Corcoran. Look to run. Instead, he kicks up high. Batted back. Here's Chance Bunce. But they read it well. The tap back from Moa. Or Sean Walker, rather, tried to find Bunce, but they read it well, and there was a two-man tackle that really snuffed anything out there. And Brisbane survive a huge scare that may have well put the game away. 
Yeah, that was that was some good defense there from Broncos. Reading that the tap was on from Nakawa Rotare. Uh, going back to Chance Bunce and um, just wrapping it up as soon as he got the ball. They got off the hook there, and um, I think they'll be pretty happy with that effort. Yeah, good effort in defense there just to make sure that nothing more gets through here. Is Diab able to run through a hole here and Chance Bunce? Goodness me, what an effort on that defensive tackle. Just able to bring the big man to ground with a tough off. Opportunity. And now Hunt breaking through there. It looks like this will be the last there. It was a good offload there, I believe, by Vredo once more. Hunt now for Sadler. Sadler to Raymond. Raymond puts up a high ball. Not a lot of depth to this one. Bunce is able to wait underneath it and nearly was able to break one free there. But Urban had decided to come up to contest it and did well on the kick chase to not allow Bunce too many meters. This is going to be a tough going here. Warriors can score any more here, honestly. I feel like might be home free. Yeah, the Warriors will be pushing for points here, trying to shut out any chance that the Brisbane Broncos have of uh, getting back in the game. The Broncos need to score very, very soon if they're going to get back in it. Um, it'll be an interesting last couple of 15 minutes uh, indeed. Yeah, is that time a good kick there from McCartney. Find some open field to Sam Herbin now. Oh, he put a step there, I believe, on McCartney, and it was Bunce that brought him to ground there. We'll need to swing it to the left side here with no real men on the short flank as Mark Iron will be the one to run it up there. He gets up to just inside his own 40. Bellard now to Wilson. Wilson is tackled to the center of the park, not gaining many meters on that third tackle. Seller to Iron, now for Herbin. Herbin getting about 10 there before he's brought down there by Lawrence. Sadler now to Iron. Iron to Spillane. Spillane jukes a defender and McCartney comes over to make sure that he can make the stop. Nothing getting through there. Good work by the Warriors 5 8 as Lillard will opt to take the kick. And he kicks it right down to Chance Bunce, but some good kick chasing there. And it ends up being Quandale Dingle that makes a tackle and also earns a penalty for his trouble. That is just poor <laughs> from the Broncos there. You see the referee having a chat with both captains, not happy about how many times they've had to penalize. And um, the, both the captains gone immediately to their teams, just not too, uh, not too happy with them holding down the tackle. Yeah, it does feel a little bit harsh, admittedly. I don't feel like there's been much wrestling in Varak that has warranted too much, but Whatever the referees say, if they feel like that it's going to become too much of a problem, they don't want it to get out of hand when they say someone's got to go if this continues. It's his chance to bunce. Bunce is brought down there and a good driving tackle there by Jack Spillane already on tackle four. And the Warriors not getting much out of the joy of this pe earlier penalty set. Now Logan Strange has come back on. Ooh, might have warranted a sim been there, but may have been too harsh. Now Sean Walker. Walker with a nice little chip kick, but just some plays ran out of it well and made sure that nothing could be given there to the Warriors. His tackled at his own 20. Spillane now to Diab. Diab trying to get through that tackle of Strange. Can't quite do so, but still gets some good meters. Sadler now to Wilson. Wilson to Vredo. And Vredo also making some strong, strong meters. After the contact, Diab now to Herbin with a good inside ball and they're able to get up another 10 meters into Warriors territory, but they need a little bit more than this. I'll try and find it through Spillane, but Spillane is brought down well there by a walker. Spillane will have to play it and it's a slow play of a ball after he was rocked in that walker tackle. Lillard will take the kick. Lillard looks deep now. It's taken by Broughton Thompson and Broughton Thompson has brought it up and is tackled about 15 out from his own line. Warriors will look to send this one to the right side now through Lawrence, but they don't send it that far out. Lawrence just taking a one-up hit-up. Lawrence to White now to Barna. Barna will send it forward now just to outside his own 30. White now to McCartney. McCartney swings it for Lawrence. Lawrence nearly threw the tackle of Diab, but couldn't get very much out of it. Lawrence now to White. White to McCartney. McCartney always looking for the crossfield kick. He's able to find Isaac Simons. Wow, what an option on that occasion. But we're now getting very much out of it. We tried to look for the crossfield just to send him free. Figure the wingers may be back, but did not get anything out of it. As that kick will also find open space and is picked up eventually by Herbin. He'll run it out. He'll run it through. Oh. Nearly by Bunce, but oh, a good 
effort there by the Warriors to try and create some more kicking opportunities for them. But they might not have too much here as Wilson. Oh, he had to take an ankle tap from Bonds. That was desperation. It ends up bringing him down. Oh, I feel like there's not much space to breathe right now in this game, even with the two-score margin. The Broncos are still fighting to for now for everything, as are the Warriors. These two teams really want to make sure they can secure a victory. Here's Iron wrestling now against Lawrence. Eventually, Sadler finds Diab. Now to Spillane. Spillane breaking through. Now against Spunce. Spunce will be caught out of position. Who's having to move over? It looks like they're moving Simons this time. Now it's Lillard. Lillard with a high ball. Spunce got back enough for it. Does well, but is brought back in oh. goal. That is a great tackle from the Broncos there. I didn't see who was joining him, but Bo Sadler, the former Manly player, Showing off a great effort in defense and just dragging him back in the end goal to get his team a repeat set. Yeah, well, I had criticized his defense earlier. He's trying to make up for it there, and I would argue that he's definitely done so. Now Brisbane, they need to score off this set in order to give themselves a chance. Here's Luka Moscow. He haven't called his number very much this game, but he's able to bring it up to the, about the 22-meter line, which is a denoted on this field. Bo Sadler now. He'll take a run for himself. He's brought down just over five minutes to play here. Raymond finds Lillard. Lillard trying to bring it forward, but he's brought down well in a tackle by Strange. Sadler sends it out for Iron. Iron trying to work his way forward and McCartney and Walker there able to wrestle him on his back, make sure he can't do anything to put that ball down. Here's Sadler. Sadler finds Lillard. Oh, dear me. Lillard's trying to find Quandau Dingle on his inside, but he couldn't control the pass. And that is a huge, huge swing of momentum there. The Warriors now might have just been let off the hook. Yeah, that is disappointing there from the Broncos. With only four minutes to go, it's hard to say that the Broncos are any chance of winning this game anymore. Um and I think that'll be the final coffin, uh, final nail in the coffin, rather, for the Broncos, and the Warriors will walk away with another win. Yeah, well, they still need to spend this last three and a half minutes trying to secure it. Looks like McCartney will elect a kick for a 40-20 attempt, but not able to put enough on it. Urban ends up being able to take it, but now the Broncos, they'll need to send someone through the line of the Warriors, get through that armor there as there's plays with a good step. That's what they need from him. Ends up being... A tough bring down there for Logan Strange, and he wasn't square at marker, so he has to quickly dash back. Dingle racing back to try and get some more meters while Strange is out of position. Iron now. Looked like Redder wanted it. It went to Raymond instead. Raymond is brought down 25 meters out. Sadler now for Lillard. Lillard to Wilson. Wilson trying to take a run up the center, but is brought down eventually. Good work there by that's Jaden White there. Still in that hooker roll. Wilson to Sadler. Now Raymond. Raymond, he was in the center of the park. He might have looked to do something different with that. Bunce decides to let it bounce on the inside because he thinks he can set one free. He nearly can, Whoa. but he's eventually brought down. But oh, interesting work here by the Warriors. They're finding new ways to attack here. And I definitely feel like when you're up and you have this margin, it's something good to experiment with. Yeah, Chance Bunce looking very, very dangerous there, Chance Bunce, one of the fastest players in the SRL. He's been known to clock speeds of upwards of 36 kilometers an hour. And, um, geez, it doesn't he show it at times? Yeah, he was really trying to show it off there. Rex Slattery was maybe trying to emulate that of that line break, but, well, big man didn't really have the legs. As now here, it might be just be them trying to secure some points. Looks like White will go to McCartney. McCartney doesn't like to go for one. Instead, he wants it all. It's batter back for Chance Bunce again. And a consolation try. Could be crucial in the points differential, but another one. And it goes right back to Chance Bunce. Wow. Chance Bunce, I was talking about it there. He's got his double now. He is just on a different level. He is a great player, and he leads his team in every way possible. Um, and he just shows that here. Yeah, this is great work there. McCartney, I've, I was questioning why he didn't go for the one there just to try and secure some more points. But, well, if you have the ability to create an attack like that and send your captain over for a double to ice the game, well, why don't you take it? 
you know, whatever works at the time, as he will finish this one off. 36 to 18, the final score here. The Warriors get their fourth win in their history over Brisbane. As they will move to a 500 record, 2 and 2 now. Brisbane, well, they're probably having to wave goodbye to their playoff hopes now as 0 and 4. You see the hugs being exchanged. Will, final thoughts here. What do you think about this match? The Broncos, in, we're in it for a good uh, section, but I do think that it was the tries from the two halves, Corcoran and Bun um, sorry, Corcoran and McCartney, uh, the back-to-back -back tries is really what shifted the momentum in the Warriors' favours, and the Broncos just couldn't get back after that. Yeah, it's a great effort there from the Warriors. They will be sending their fans home happy there. As for Will K. I've been Oli Pache, you've been watching SRL TV. Thank you, and we will see you next time.